Hello everyone. Today we will learn about SAP R5 comments and code refactoring. We need to do some code refactoring in our existing project. I want to apologize for the delay in the video upload. It's because I was working on some other projects. And uh, I'm so thankful to my viewers who commented out on my post and asking me to upload new videos. That was a source of motivation to come back here again. And the most important thing I want to share is that our course is almost completed. And uh, I thought of sharing the other topics in advanced course, but due to requirement from the students and request from the students, I want to show you how to deploy the application in business app technology platform. And along with the deployment, we will also learn about the launchpad configuration in BTP. And so that's the reason the next two sessions would be really important. So please must watch. And now we are going to learn about comment and code refactoring. Comments and refactoring of the code is really important. It is because when you refactor your code, the initial phase, you design the code, you develop the logic. Uh, so you don't care much about how much memory it is taking up and uh, uh, how much uh, you mostly care about the reliability of the code, whether a problem is solved or not. So once you do that, once your problem is solved, then you run the application locally. And the most important thing is refactoring your code. So let me show you what is refactoring of a code. Assume I have written a variable declaration here and then again i'm doing a variable declaration same way i'm doing the variable declaration here as well so the first thing you can do you can if if they are into series you can def define the let ones and then at the end instead of semicolon you put a comma and you can remove the another let and still the code would work fine here i'm running our application locally so if any issue would come we will get to know same way here are also two variable declaration so i can put comma and i can remove this let too this is called code refactoring then we can see what else we can change if you will notice the if statement we have added these curly braces and javascript is would work without these curly braces as well so this code would look more cleaner if we can remove the curly braces from here and let me remove it from here so it would also decrease the white space anyway the white space is not a problem in javascript but just to make our code more better uh, we can remove the curly braces and now let me see if the application is running it is okay it is running fine absolutely everything is working fine great now let me tell you what is comments comments we have put earlier throughout our applications but in between we did not put much comment so i need to show you what comments are comments tells the other developers and the people who are auditing your code or observing your code that what this particular code block does what this particular function does this is what we can write in the comments in standard SAP R5 application development, this is also one of the practice that you can put your username because in SAP we have different users. So assume this is my user ID. So I can put my user ID and I can say after, just after the development because there could be multiple developers working on the same file, same project. So you can put like this, the comments that this code block I have written, there were hundreds of code blocks, but I have written this particular one and that's the identity that I have put here. This is the one way of commenting. The another way of commenting, I mean, that comment is more, far important. So this is the single line comment. Whenever you write the double slash single line comment, if you need to write the double line comment, triple line comment, then you need to put slash and asterisk. And so utensil support, I'm not getting else. It would have been really easy. So th that's the way to put the comment slash asterisk, asterisk slash close. And in between, whatever you will write, you can write, you can say the Okay, let me give you an example of the. You can write at the parameter what you are passing. I'm sorry. So, parameter we are passing is the number. That's what we are passing in this function. The value is number. And we are returning again a number. So, you can say that this function returns a number. And uh, yes, and in comment, you can mention uh, formatter formatting the display value of bonnet start. In this way, you can put a comment. The similar way, now you can copy this, and similar way, you can put comment on the get state. So here you can say formatting the, okay, there is no D, formatting the semantic color so this is what this function is doing correct if you have seen my last video the formatting custom formatting so this is what 
semantic color value of donut chart. Okay, this looks good. So now we have put the comment, we have understood how to put the comment and how to refactor our code. And we need to refactoring is required. We need to do the refactoring in our controller file as well. I mean, earlier, whatever function we wrote, we wrote it with decency. So not much refactoring is required, but some level of refactoring is required. Like this is let one time declaration. Okay, so here is something interesting. We have four let declaration. So let me change them. Let me remove the let first. So we can declare it once and then we can utilize it throughout the function block. I'm removing semicolon colon and putting a comma. And okay, so till here, because after that, there is no new let assignment. So that's why at the end, we have to put semicolon, else it will create an error. And first time we can declare the let. Business logic is doing. So I have already assigned the code block here. Sorry, I have assigned the comments here. So now I'm going to push this code to GitHub. If it is working fine, okay, everything is good. It's working fine. So I'm pushing this code to GitHub. You can check my tech in here, my bank details repository, and you will find the updated code. There are different branches. You can get the permitter, custom permitter code. You can get it from here. In which session I taught JSON by name, you can get it from here. Fragment and dialogue related code, you can get it from here. So there are different branches, same way I'm doing. So right now I'm, I'm going to push this code and you can see how to push the code in GitHub, even though I have covered this in my previous sessions, but just for your learning, just for a recap, if you want to do. So I think it is visible to you now. So I will go to my project folder, which is my bank underscore details. So since the application is working fine, that's why I'm pushing the code and we have done the refactoring. So I will write get in it, then get add. It will add all the files to local repository. Then I will say get. Now I need to commit this code. Get commit hyphen m, and I can give it the name code refactor. Okay. Now it is done. Everything is inserted. Now I will create a new branch with get branch mark hyphen capital M, and I need to pass the branch name in this in this office trophy and i will pass the branch name as code refactor and then i will put get push hyphen u and it's a newly created branch i'll push the code refactor get push is not get command oh i'm sorry there is pu sh Okay, our code is pushed. Now we can check in our Texas India. If I can, here is a code refactor has coming. I need to compare it and pull it for the main branch. But if you will notice, uh, the code refactor branch would be visible to us. This is our code refactor branch where the updated code is available. Now I can compare and pull and merge it with the master because since I have pushed the code, so I know the code is correct. And we can say the code refactoring and it's Create a pull request. It will create a pull request, and now I need, it will check the availability. If any mismatch find between the master branch, the main branch, and the newly updated branch, so it will display us. Now merge pull request, code refactor, confirm merge. Yes, so that's all. It done. So now in the master or the main branch, you have the updated code. You can clone the code, and cloning is so easy. You just have to copy this URL and put it in your account. SAP Business Application Studio. So clone cloning is quite easy. Now let's connect in the next session. I will clone in my next next session and I will display you how to clone. And then we will deploy this application to our business technology platform. Thank you so much for your time.